Hello students, this is Organizational Behavior class and I am Uma Joshi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Organizational Behavior is a subject which is offered in semester 4 of degree engineering in all branches. Now, today I will be introducing you to this subject Organizational Behavior. So in today's session, we are going to talk about three points. That is, first one, what is OB? Organizational behavior is also popularly called OB in short. So we will learn what is OB or we will define OB. Secondly, we will see why we are going to study OB in engineering or what is the reason for us to study OB or to learn about OB or the organizational behavior. And thirdly, we will see how is it helpful to engineers and all professionals for that matter or what is the need and importance of OB for us. So to begin with, we will firstly deal with the first question that is what is OB? Now, organizational behavior deals with the human aspect of the organization. It actually helps in understanding, predicting and managing the human behavior. We want to understand, we also want to predict. Predict means how a human being will behave in organizational context. And then we want to manage that. So, OB is the study of human behavior in the organizational context and how human beings interact with each other and how do they behave with each other and their interaction with the organization itself. So in this subject overall, we are going to study about the human behavior in the organizational context. Our next question is why OB? Why we are going to study OB over here? So first of all, human resource is the key resource in the organization. An organization has various resources like financial resource or the material resource or the system of the organization. But the human resource is the key resource in an organization, the most important resource in the organization. Secondly, the interaction of human beings with each other in the organization are at different levels. An employee will have to interact with the peer group, maybe with the subordinates if they, if they have, or with the superiors. Also, they have one more level of interaction and that is with the outside world, which includes the clients or vendors or suppliers. Thirdly, how the other resources will be used depends on this one resource and that is human resource and that is why we say that human resource is the key resource. We know that for an organization to become successful or profitable, the organization will have to go according to the plan that they have made according to their vision. Now to reach that goal, there are certain resources they, have, they will have to use. Like I said, the financial resources or the raw materials or the system. There are various resources that an organization have to use. But how these resources will be used depends on this one resource and that is the human resource. Next, the human behavior is influenced by the surrounding and vice versa. Means human beings are influenced by the surrounding and they can also influence the surrounding. That means that Given a particular situation, a person will behave in a certain manner. Also, a person's presence will have an effect on the surrounding or on the others, how they will behave. So, there is this kind of interaction between the humans which actually decide how everyone will behave in a particular situation. Next, why we are going to study OB is because every human being is motivated differently. One person may be motivated by money, one person may be motivated by appreciation, one person is only motivated because that person gets 
a satisfaction out of doing the work or there are so many other reasons why a person is motivated to do some work effectively. So because these motivational factors are different, it is important for us to understand the human behavior. Next, how a plan is implemented effectively can be said based on how resources are used in the organization. That means that the successful implementation of any plan in an organization depends on the use of the resource. And again, as I said earlier, how the resources like material resources and financial resources are used depends on one resource and that is the human resource. Also, how people work in an organization greatly depends on how is their interpersonal relationships with each other. We all know that we can work effectively with people with whom we can gel with. And we would not like to work with people who are not like-minded or who have a different style of working. For example, some people may manage time very effectively, some other people may not. Some people are very good in interacting with others and clients, some people may not be. Some people are very fast at grasping, some people may not be. Some people understand the goal and how to implement them. Some people may take a time to understand them. So because of this different things, our interpersonal relationships will be affected. And due to that, it becomes difficult for people to work with each other. So if we understand the factors that influences a human behavior, then we will be able to understand how to work with others. And that will actually lead to effective work in an organization. And lastly, if the human behavior in an organization is dealt with effectively, then the productivity of the organization will definitely improve. It will increase and the organization will become successful. So these are the various reasons why OB or why we are learning OB. Now comes the last question. How it is going to be helpful to the leaders and the employees or to any professional or how it is going to be helpful to you when you go in an organization to work. So first of all, OB actually helps in controlling and directing the behavior of other human beings. So in an organization, we want that human beings act in a certain manner. They work in a certain manner. And to direct them, we need to understand what will make them work in a certain manner. And that is how OB helps over here. Also, OB helps in making decisions and creating environment where people can become creative and motivated. So when people become more creative and motivated, they will definitely become more effective. OB also helps in aligning the goal of the organization with that of the team and the individuals. Now if this happens, it is the best thing because when the goal of the team is equal to the goal of the organization, definitely the team will be motivated. So this gap has to be bridged and that is what OB does. Next, very obvious thing is that it helps the manager in getting things done in a better way. Because the manager knows how to make people behave in a certain manner. So the things will also be done in a better way. Also, OB clarifies what influences people's behavior and their work. So if we know how people will behave and how people will work, what will influence them, then we can do that thing so that they will work effectively. OB also helps in understanding what makes other people make decisions. Various people will make decisions at different levels in the organization. Those decisions, they may be personal decisions or the organizational decisions, but both of them will affect the organization. And so if we understand that what makes people make certain decisions, it will become easier for us to work with others. 
Next, it also helps in understanding oneself and how to deal with others. So when we understand about behavior, we will also understand about our own behavior. We will be able to identify our strengths and weaknesses. We will be able to identify what motivates us. And that is why we will be able to direct our own behavior. And also, we will be able to understand how to deal with others. Next, OB also helps in improving the interpersonal relationships in the organization. And this will help in creating a very positive and a friendly environment. Who would not like to go to a workplace where there are positive vibes, where people are very friendly with each other? When I say friendly, it doesn't mean that people waste time. But when it is friendly, that means people gel along with each other and they can work effectively. They can work happily with each other because they like to work with each other. So such kind of positive and friendly environment is always required in an organization. Not only that, OB also helps in maintaining industrial relations. Now, if industrial relations are maintained cordially, it is for the good of the organization. And if people have good knowledge about the human behavior, they can also have good relations outside the organization. And that is very important for the progress of the organization. And lastly, OB tackles the human problems humanly. This is the most important point. If human beings in an organization have certain problems, and they are obviously going to have certain problems, they will have their own issues, they may have their personal issues, or they may have some organizational issues. They may face certain problems while working. But how to solve them? They should be solved humanly by understanding each other. Now, if this happens, then only people will be motivated to work in an organization. So, it is very, very important. So, OB, they actually help organizations to become humanly. And that is the need of the R. So, today, we have touched upon three questions regarding OB. Number one, what is OB? Number two, why we are learning OB? And number three, how it will be helpful to all professionals. So, I hope you have understood all these three aspects of OB. And I hope this will help you to understand the subject more clearly. Thank you.